Should you purchase the 16 inch MacBook Pro in the i9 or i7 model? Test thoughts coming at you right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for graphic designers and creative professionals. If that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Today we're talking about the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I have the i9 and the i7 model and I ran some tests to see which one runs faster and which one you should purchase. Now, let's jump right into it and look at a nine minute 4K clip put into Premiere Pro and exported out at full 4K settings. The i7 model did this in five minutes and 41 seconds, and the i9 model did this in five minutes and 38 seconds. So very small difference between these two exports. Now, let's say if you wanna save some time, I wanna export out that same clip to 1080p. The i7 can do that in one minute and 39 seconds, whereas the i9 does that in one minute and 25 seconds. What about playback? It's a big concern for a lot of video editors and myself. Well, both of these machines can play that 4K clip at full quality playback in Premiere Pro without any lagginess. To test this further, I pulled up a YouTube video, 4K, let that play, and pulled up a Photoshop project started kind of toying around in there and then went to see how my playback was doing and it was still running without lagginess at full quality playback. So both of these machines handle video editing and playback very well. Now, one of the biggest differences I saw is that the i7 ran warmer and it also ran the fans at a faster rate, which made more noise. So the i7 is gonna be a little bit noisier because you're pulling more power to export that clip and it's taking more of the fan speed and the heat sink to cool the machine in order to make sure it exports at that level of speed. Both of these machines have the AMD Radeon Pro 5300M. So if you're somebody who's editing 1080p or 4K footage, I would say the i7 is plenty of power for you. If you're somebody who's getting into 6K, 8K footage, or you know maybe you're editing Red Dragon footage, then you might wanna go for the i9. But if you're just handling 1080p and 4K footage, you're gonna be good with the i7. Head down into the description below for the exact pricing and specs for each of these models. And if you're ready to buy, if you make a purchase of that link, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, and I'm greatly appreciative of when y'all use those links. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you here on the next one.